Well, I'm happy to be able to come to you today once again and share with you the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to you about the revelation of the Antichrist. If there's ever been a time when there's been so much discussion about something, it's about the Antichrist and about the mark of the beast and some of these things, and I'm going to try to talk about some of them this morning and clarify some of them. But I want to tell you in Revelations 1 and 3, it says, Blessed he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. I want to tell you, uh, many people are worried about accidentally receiving the mark of the beast or something. And there's a lot of Antichrist that's been described. Uh, I've heard people call certain people the Antichrist. But I, you need not worry. If you're a Christian and you're a born-again believer, and your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you don't have to worry about the Antichrist because we're looking for the real Christ. He is going to come soon, one day, pretty soon. I don't know when, but we know he's coming soon. But the Antichrist is going to have seven years of a short period of time where he's going to come, and he's described in Revelations chapter 13 and 1, and there's two beasts mentioned in the 13th chapter. One is the uh, false prophet, and the other one is the Antichrist. And when you talk about them, there's a unholy trinity just like there is a god trinity there's god the father god the son and god the holy ghost and and then on the other side there's an ungodly trinity that's going to show up that's a dragon and the false prophet and the beast and the false prophet represents uh, is going to take try to take the place of the holy spirit aren't you glad for the great holy spirit and we got the real genuine thing but the the uh antichrist is going to uh come on the scene trying to emulate Christ. He's going to try to take over his kingdom. He's going to try to win as many people as he can. And we hear him described in that 13th chapter, as I told you. And it also says that he's going to, uh, during this seven-year time that he's going to reign, remember, he is just a man. He is just a man. And he's going to be filled with all demonic powers. He's coming, you know, to this world, and so Satan is going to use this man to try to do, uh, to try to, to lead away every way he can and send him straight to hell if he can. And, uh, you know, there's going to be great things that are going to rise in the tribulation period. God is going to send two witnesses. I believe they're, I believe they're Elijah and Enoch that are going to witness and preach the gospel there. And during this tribulation period, there's going to be 144,000 Jews, 12,000 from each tribe, 12 times 12 is 144,000 they're going to go ahead and preach the gospel and encourage people to turn and not take the mark of the beast. It says the mark of the beast is going to be poured out in Revelations 13. And I might read a little bit to you from there. And he, uh, it says he calls it both small and great in verse 16, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads that no man could buy or sell unless he had the mark, name of the beast and his name. And it goes on to say, here's the wisdom. Let him that understand and count the number of the beast, for the number of a man is the number 603, so and six. So the number of that's going to be in the palm or in the forehead is going to be 666. And I want to tell you what uh, the book of Daniel talks about, the time where there's in the second chapter, it talks about ten toes of that great image that Nebuchadnezzar uh, saw and when it gets down to the last one it's the last age and that's those 10 countries are going to be uh, coming forth out of the uh, old Roman Empire territory where it used to be it's going to encompass those territories that the Antichrist is going to come from that and it breaks it down a little bit and talks about the Alexander the Great that was the king of Greece that came forth to conquer and, and died of 30 two or 33 years of age uh, because he just had no more worlds to conquer. And, uh, you know, it, uh, there, there's four kingdoms that was represented in that offspring of that. And the Antichrist is going to rise out of one of those. And I don't want to really name too many names. I, I really know that uh, out of the Middle East is where that Antichrist is going to come from. And I really think that uh, his time is imminent right now. But I want to encourage all of you that are listening to this video to be encouraged in Jesus Christ. 
and to receive him as your Lord and Savior. If you're not saved today, with all this stuff that is going on around the world today, it's time to get your heart right and right with God. Jesus is going to come, and one day we're all going to stand before God. The Christians are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and receive rewards, whether they be good or bad. And then there's going to be a great white throne judgment that everyone is going to have to stand before God that's not right. And they're going to get to give an account. And I don't want to have to stand at that great white throne judgment. I want to miss that one. Just sinners are going to show up there, and they're going to they're going to be standing before the court of the law, and there's not going to be anything there that God's not going to take care of. Friends, I want to tell you, you think you're getting by with things today. You're not really getting by with anything because God's got an all-seeing eye, and he's got his eyes on this world, and he's coming back again, and he's going to take his church away. So Christians, I want to encourage you, don't worry about the Antichrist. Seek the real Christ. Pray. Seek the Lord that he may be found in your heart. And may God bless you today, and thank you so much for listening to this video today.